What's up guys, this is Wack Attack here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing videos, or, or not an unboxing video, but I guess a boxing video uh, to show you guys the participation prize for the Digimon card game tournament that was hosted by Bandai about two weeks ago. So I just got this in the mail today and I was pretty excited to go ahead and open it up. I didn't get a promo pack from uh, the giveaway that happened earlier, I think last month. Um, so I was really excited to get the promo pack here. So I'll be going ahead and opening that up and showing you guys what's within the prize pack. So unfortunately I didn't make top 16 cut. I went 4-0, sorry 4-1 then ended up dropping. I lost my last match. Um, uh, so if you guys want to see a, pro a deck profile video for that, do leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to see my red, not Omnimon, I had two Omnimon um, deck list. But yeah, but without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. So it looks like they actually packed the promo pack and the memory gauge within um, one of those plastic packs you would put like top loaders in when you're buying cards online or something like that. So this is what the memory gauge looks like. It's pretty good looking. It is foil. So you have Metal Grumon on one side and then you have War Greymon on the other. So yeah, it is very shiny. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but yeah, it is pretty good looking um, and looks pretty sturdy as well. So yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Glad that they gave this out. Uh, next is the promo pack, which I mentioned I didn't get. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I don't know what's in here. I think everyone just gets all of the cards in here. So six cards per pack and there's six total types. So I'm assuming I'm just going to get one of each of everything, uh, but I'll find out. Um, and again, like I wish I had more of these. Uh, if I was able to get top 16 or win the giveaway, I would have been able to get all of that. But, you know, it's they're not like super great cards. So, um, you know, I'm not missing out on too much, I guess. But it would have been nice to have regardless. So, this is what the Digimon promo cards look like. So, we have Agumon. And these are all foil, um, I believe. So, we have Biomon. Gabumon, Gomamon, Patamon, and Gatomon. So all the original Digimon from the first season. So really glad to finally have these. I'll put them in a binder somewhere and then um, I don't know if I'll ever have a chance to actually use them. But this is the box that came with it. So I'm gonna get and go ahead and open this up. As you can see, there is um, some Japanese instructions on the back, which I don't understand, but um, should be easy enough to construct. It looks like it's similar to like one of the BCW boxes if you've ever use those uh, so it should be pretty straightforward to put together it does look like it is it is a bit thicker than like your typical card storage box which is nice um, not as nice as I was hoping like I was hoping for something like I don't know if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh you might have seen um, the dual devastator box that one was pretty nice quality I think so uh, yeah let me go ahead and just put this together um, all right, guys, take two because I did this wrong the first time and the second time. So the order for this doesn't matter, um, and I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. The order of the flaps uh, is actually pretty important to the construction of the box. So I'll walk you guys through that um, so you don't make the same mistake that I didn't have to deassemble the box. So this is the front of the box. This says Digimon Card Game. This will be covered by the lid over here. So this is the front. The flaps for the front part actually go on the outside when you're assembling this. So you fold this up like this. Um, so this actually goes on the inside and the flaps for the front go on the outside. And that's very important. And I will show you why in a minute. And then you just take these, you fold them over and it does have two uh, folds over here. So you just push it down if you need to, it'll fold over fine. Um, same thing on the other side, you fold this over and then fold this in. And that should lock into place. If it doesn't, just give it a nice little push on the top and that'll lock in place. All right, once that's done, front is actually, the top and the front is pretty simple. You push this in and then these two flaps, these two wings go inside here. And that's why those flaps that we had assembled previously are important, the order of that. Because if you don't, then one of them gets stuck on here and this doesn't close all the way. So make sure the front flaps go on the outside. That's pretty much it. Um, Straight, not terribly difficult. Um, I can't say it was straightforward because I did mess this up, but it is a pretty solid box actually. It's pretty good, nice looking. Um, yeah, and the artwork on this is beautiful. These cards obviously are not out yet in the English version, but they will be soon in February. So I'm really looking forward to those. Um, Blitz Greymon looks awesome, and I like the War Greymon line in general. 
So yeah, looking forward to that. That is all for this video. Uh, if you guys have not received yours yet, I'm sure you'll be getting it soon if you participated in the tournament. So do not worry. Um, again, I'm on the West Coast and these were mailed from uh, California. So that's why I got them as quick as I did. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to other official tournaments in the future and seeing what Bandai has in store for us. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Digimon content. And then leave a comment down below letting me know what Digimon products you're most excited about in the next coming months.